guys, it's Millie. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite places to visit in the Costa Blanca. This is the tiny little island of Tabarca off the coast of Alicante. Whether you're living in Spain or on holiday, this should definitely be on your list of places to visit. Tabarca is a tiny little island with a big personality. And although it's only 500 metres wide, Tabarca has a lot to offer whether you're visiting in the summer or winter. It's perfect for all ages, whether you're coming with friends or looking for a family day out. So in this travel guide, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about what to do here and how to plan your visit. Tabarca is undoubtedly a paradise for those who like snorkeling and diving, as the water is extremely clear here and you will see many different types of marine life. It was officially declared a marine reserve in 1986 and tourists flock here during the summer months to experience this and the many beautiful beaches on the island. Depending on the weather, you may find that one side of the island is more sheltered than the other, so bear that in mind if it's windy and you're planning on being in the sea as it can get quite choppy. The small town of Tabarca is very picturesque and is filled with cobbled streets and whitewashed houses. So my first tip is to take a stroll around the town as soon as you get here and take it all in. You'll find a lot of old traditional Spanish architecture throughout the town, including an old church which is usually open to the public. There are many different restaurants serving delicious food, which is great when you're hungry and looking for some lunch. Alicante is famous for its fantastic cuisine, and Tabarca is no different. And because it's surrounded by sea, you can expect to find a huge fresh selection of fish and seafood dishes to get those taste buds watering. You'll also find some great tapas, which can be enjoyed sitting in the sun on one of the many terraces. As I mentioned earlier, Tabarca has many beautiful beaches. So make sure that when you're strolling around, to have a look which beach you fancy going to. Or, like us, check out a few different ones throughout the day, as they are all nice in their own way. My favourite one was the one with a little cove, which had a cave you could swim out to and explore. There was crystal clear water here, which was perfect for snorkeling. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can also do some cliff jumping. The most popular beach is one that you'll notice shortly after you get off the boat, as it's a large white sandy beach and is the only one to have sunbeds and beach parasols. However, this beach tends to be very busy as it's right next to the main part of the island where you'll find the museum, medical center and many restaurants. Another great snorkeling spot that people love to explore is the rock formation at the end of the island known as La Cantera. This is a must see. This can be found at the opposite side of Tabarca town as you walk through the large arch. You will need to take a few steps through the sea to get to it, but it's so worth it as it's a bit more secluded here and there's not as many people around. Although it's not a beach, you can still put your towel down and chill out here as it's easy enough to lower yourself into the water from the rocks. But getting back to the boat, let me tell you how to get here. You can grab a boat from any of the different ports along the coastline, such as Benidorm, Alicante, Torre Vieja and others. But we would recommend getting the boat from Santa Pola, as it's closer to Tabarca Island, which means a shorter boat journey, which also costs less. Another advantage with travelling from Santa Pola is that you don't have a specific timetable to follow and you get to choose what suits your plans. Whereas at the other ports, you may have set times that you need to follow. As you arrive at the port in Santa Pola, you will see a row of huts selling tickets for 10 euro return. You can get your tickets online in advance, but generally you don't need to, as there's numerous boats running all day. Remember to keep hold of your ticket, as you'll need this for your return journey. Make sure you know the time of your last boat to the mainland so you don't miss it. 
If you do want to get one of the lighter boats, these can get quite busy, so I would recommend getting in the queue early to avoid disappointment. If you are travelling from one of the other ports, be aware that you may need to return at a specific time. Check with your ferry company before buying your tickets. The journey from Santa Pola takes approximately 20 minutes depending on sea conditions, and it also gives you the opportunity to take in the spectacular views of the Alicante coastline. Always remember to check the weather when planning your visit, as if the weather is bad, the boats won't run. What to bring? It's most likely to be really sunny when you visit, so make sure to bring sunglasses and it's also advisable to bring a hat. Obviously wear sun cream and don't forget to top it up after being in the water. I would recommend taking water shoes, as when you get in and out of the water it can be quite rocky so they'll protect your feet. If you plan on going snorkelling, it is essential to take a mask and flippers. However, you can purchase these items in some of the little shops on the island, but they are more expensive here. Although there are restaurants on the island, you may want to save time and money by bringing your own food and drinks, which can be enjoyed sitting on one of the beaches looking out to sea. If you love this place as much as I do, there are a few quirky little gift shops where you can pop in and buy yourself a souvenir before heading back to the boat. So there you have it, my Tabarka Island travel guide. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it helps more people to see this video. Subscribe to my channel to get more ideas of activities to do and places to visit here in Spain. I upload a new video every Friday, so hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one. If you've been here before or are planning a visit and have any other questions, then leave me a comment below. And don't forget to check out my Instagram to see what else I'm getting up to. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.